I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at Devox UK talking to Patrick Curian. Patrick, hi. Hi, Yolande. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. I'm very glad to be here. So you, we've, we had an interview at Devox uh, in Belgium, mm -hmm. and you talked about uh, the GCP, that mm -hmm. next program. Yep. Can you remind us a little bit what, uh, was, what was it about? Sure. JCP.next is shorthand for a series of JSRs that we are working on uh, whose purpose is not to create a technology specification but to change the way that the JCP itself does its business. Mm -hmm. So the first of those was JSR 348 which we finished in October 2011. Um, we did a second one last year which was much simpler that just merged the two executive committees for MEE and SEEE into one. And we're working on the third one right now, which is a more complicated one to modify the legal agreements and intellectual property flow and so on. But the first of these is probably the one that's more of interest to regular developers than the legalistic stuff. And that JSR 348 um, basically mandated that in future all JSRs must be conducted in public. So the expert groups have to do their business in public on a public mailing list. They have to have public issue trackers. They have to take comments from people. And they have to basically permit the developer community to participate in the work that they're doing, to observe and to participate. So building on this, a couple of the Java user groups who are represented on the executive committee of the JCP, London Java community, who are obviously uh, the hosts of this event here mm -hmm. in London, and also SoJava, the Brazilian Java user group, together created this program they called Adopt a JSR, which is basically a program intended to help individual developers to participate in the work of the JCP, uh, but do it collectively as a group. Um, it, for several years now, I've been coming to events like this and encouraging individuals to join the JCP. We have a lot of individual members, about three quarters of our members are individuals. But what we found out was that once they joined, that was kind of it. They didn't really know where to go next. Mm -hmm. Because they were individuals, some of them would feel a bit intimidated even by the name expert group. I'm not an expert, how could I right. serve on an expert group? Or it's just me, I don't want to, I'm just me. I, how can I represent someone like IBM or whatever? And what we figured out, or what the LJC and SoJava figured out, was if people can join collectively and behave collectively through their Java user group, then they can help each other, they can teach each other, and so on. So that's, that's what the Adopted JSR program is about, and that's what I've been talking about while I'm, while I'm here. Okay, so you, have a, you had a session about, uh, about just about how to get started with the JSR? We had or? a couple of sessions yesterday. The first one was a brief session where we talked in general about uh, participation and mm -hmm. you know how the JCP works, why it's a good idea for individuals and developers to participate. And then yesterday evening we did a longer session, uh, called it a workshop, where we talked more specifically about the Adopted JSR program, how to get involved, uh, how it works, uh, how, how much progress we've been making and so on. So how many people are actually in the program <coughs> right now? I think we have more than 20 Java user groups who are actually participating in the program. Between them, they are working on almost 30 different JSRs. So there really is quite a lot of activity. And the kind of things they do, it varies very much from very simple stuff like helping out with, uh, with the mailing list, making sure that questions get answered, or triaging issues, making sure that issues are appropriately prioritized. Uh, some of the guys from London Java community are actually helping out by building TCK tests for JSR 310, the uh, date and time JSR. Um, several others are building applications. What they do is they take the latest build of a new JSR and they create an application to test it out. So by doing that, we get kind of real world feedback from real developers. And somebody made a good point during the session yesterday evening. It's when you're holding one of these events, you shouldn't assume that you're going to get a lot of, that everybody's going to be a skilled developer. Some of them will not be. And in fact, that's a good thing. If all you have is really smart developers, then you're not necessarily going to find problems in your documentation, uh, in the way that the APIs are structured. 
because let's be honest you know we have nine million Java developers in the world and many of them are relatively junior and not so experienced so when we put something into the Java platform we got to make sure that it's usable by everyone so having regular developers play with the stuff try it out they can find problems they can report bugs and uh, in fact yesterday evening at the session I demoed a one application that uh, was done by the Belgium Java user group BJUG uh, and what they did was they took the JSR 356 WebSocket uh, JSR and they built a simple multiplayer tic-tac-toe application so uh, with multiple clients you have a client runs on Android runs on Apple iOS runs on HTML5 runs on Java FX speaking to a server and all communicating over web sockets so this is a really good example of the kind of stuff that uh, regular developers can do to provide useful helpful feedback to the expert groups and to the spec leads great so where can they find uh, more information online? the simplest place is probably go to adoptajsr.org uh, that redirects to a java.net project mm -hmm where everything you need to know about Adopter JSR is listed. You can find a list of uh, what JSRs are available, who's working on them, and a kind of step-by-step -step how to get started uh, instructions, some examples of the kind of things that people can do, all the way from the simple stuff like working with bug lists and mailing lists up to the more complicated matter of actually fixing bugs and submitting fixes. So adopterjsr.org, jump in, get started. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Very Patrick. Glad. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.